All right, way back when here. Today I'm going to change the oil in the 2021 Piaggio Liberty 150. Now the process should be the same for the other Liberty variants, the 50cc and such. But uh, what you're going to need is a 540 oil, very important, preferably full synthetic. Air-cooled engines run at a higher temperature and you don't want to put a conventional or anything cheap in there in my opinion. So any full synthetic should do the job. It doesn't necessarily need to be a motorcycle oil because you're not dealing with a wet clutch. So um, this is a full synthetic for European vehicles. It's 540, which is most likely the only reason it's labeled as European. And then I got the Piaggio oil filter. Um, at the end of the video, I'll talk about some other options so you don't have to go directly to Piaggio. Uh, I paid about $12.99 for this from the dealer, but now that I've got it and I've got the part number, I can explore other options to buy a cheaper filter that's probably a better quality. So uh, at the end of the video, I'll give all the details on where I got the supplies. There's no need to go to the dealership. It's a super easy process and it's going to save you a ton of money. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is going to be to remove the oil filter first. Now some of the aftermarket filters have a nut on the end so you can grab it with an extension and a socket. Uh, the factory Piaggio filter does not. So what I'm gonna do is just use a pair of channel locks um, like this to grab it. Just reach up there and should spin right off. Of course, it's gonna dent the end of it a little bit, but don't worry about that. In my opinion, it was way tighter than it needed to be. Go ahead and just get your uh, oil catch pan under here because it's going to dribble a little bit. There's no way around that. Let your uh, oil filter drain into your drain bucket. I always have paper towels available. clean things up as I go. Okay, now you're gonna need it's probably metric, but I'm gonna use a 15 16 wrench seems to fit fairly snug. Sorry if my arms are in the way there. This is the oil plug right here, right next to the um, oil filter. Surprisingly enough, the oil filter was tighter than the oil plug. Okay, so after you get the plug out and you let all the oil drip out, there's a second filter in here. You can just go like this with a pair of pliers and pull it straight out. It just looks like a screen. Uh, just check it for debris. If you don't see anything, it's probably safe to put it back. Just, uh, just like this. Align it properly just by feel and then just push it back just like that. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so now that we've got the oil out and the screen cleaned, we're gonna go ahead and realign the plug. Now there's a rubber O-ring right here. If that gets out of whack, it's gonna pinch and leak. So let's get that on there correctly.
Get it all the way tightened down with your fingers. Get your 15 16 wrench. Snug it down. Now I know there's somebody's gonna comment and want the torque specs. I have no idea what the torque specs are, nor do I care. Just put it in there. Now, one thing you're not gonna, you're gonna wanna make sure it's snug, but also you're not going to wanna pinch um, the O-ring. You're not gonna wanna tear the O-ring or anything by over tightening it. So just get it snug. Then you're gonna take your new filter, take the cover off of it, and always just dip your finger in some oil put a nice uh, film of oil around the seal just like you would if you're changing the oil in your car and then take the oil filter and just screw it back on now again same as with the plug there the oil plug you don't want to over tighten the oil filter either it's got a rubber gasket on it and you will uh, split that and then it'll be a nightmare to get off as well so make sure you're not over tightening it usually those uh, a screw on oil filter is fine hand tight has been my experience sometimes the get a little grease on the or a little oil on the oil filter and i'll just take a paper towel so i can get a little better grip on it and use that and just to tighten it and also wipe it off get any residual oil off and then uh, now all we're going to do is use a clean funnel and fill it up through the dipstick right here okay now i've ridden it a little bit still a little bit low so i'm going to fill it up i believe it holds about 1.1 quart um with the oil filter, I think it hold, might hold a little more. So uh, I got a quart in there. Now I'm just going to add to it since it's slightly low. It's metric, so they don't measure in quarts. Measured in milliliters. But it comes out to about 1.16 in quarts. So that should do it. I got my paper towel down to catch any drips. And to check it, you just put the dipstick in and screw it all the way down. And then go ahead and unscrew it. It's like a car. And that does it for the oil change. Now let's talk about the oil filters. Looking around for different oil filter options without actually going to Piaggio or going online and paying 16 bucks for a screw-on filter seems kind of ridiculous because you can get one for your car for $354 um, when you find them for a good price. So looking around... Um, I did find a Piaggio filter at the dealer for $12.99 versus the $16.99 online. But um, they seem to go with the part number HF183. And High Flow uses that same number. There's a couple others that use it. And uh, I believe K&N is one of those. So there's a couple options for you. And you can get two of those for around $12 or $13.00 versus one for 12 or 13 dollars that's branded piaggio now when it comes to the oil and running the 540 like it says a common complaint of of a lot of motorcycles these days is that they smoke or burn oil um well the thing is is that the thicker oils foam up and when they foam up it's from the high revolutions and things of the small engines what and then the pressure inside the case and what happens when it foams up is it blows back up into the air box and then it burns that way so the engine's not it's burning it but it's 
no, doesn't have anything to do with the rings or the seals or anything like that. It's got to do with the people using the wrong weight oil and the oil foaming up and just blowing back into the air box, getting sucked in through the intake and just burning that way. So super important to use the correct weight oil. I know there's a hundred different opinions about that. And a lot of guys are running 2050 and Rotella and all kinds of weird stuff. No, stick with what it calls for. And in this situation, it calls for 540. I recommend a full synthetic. And that was the oil change on the Liberty 150.